what's up guys thanks for jumping in i'm working on a lebron car here it's got a couple things going on it's got a bump just a little nick here on the top edge and the foil that if i can get it to lay down it'll look better <clears throat> i've been working on it for a minute but see it right there so it was worse <laughs> i wouldn't make you watch the whole video it takes a while but i'm kurt with kurt's card care and i want to do uh use this card as a an example um for a couple things it's got a couple issues with it here in the besides this dang there's some stuff in the foil like these white spots and specks. So we're gonna see if we can get those up. And then there is it what appears to be an old thumbprint or fingerprint right up in the foil here. But I could not get that off with um just a simple microfiber. So it might might need something else, but let me uh get to it here. So fixing an edge. So I'm just gonna put them penny sleeve on top of the edge <clears throat> work in a well lit area so you can see what you're doing and I'm using my corner tool here guys I just always like having a vinyl tube that is firm but flexible and once uh you know I've, I've used this for a long time but I've just developed a feel for it and I also produce these and make these for collectors of course you guys so Thanks for tuning in is what I'm trying to say. So I can see that little bubble right there. And I'm just going to massage gently, guys, right where that damage is. And just be gentle, consistent in the spot you're working on. Let the tool do the work. You don't have to shove hard. And always work on a card mat this has a little give to it itself and it just I find when you put all this together it just creates a good combination for getting stuff like that out well check it out much better I can still see it a little bit I'll come back to it but it's much better it was a bump there it was right there you could see it big time all right, so since I could not remove these with just a standard old microfiber, you guys, I'm gonna jump into my my spray. I developed this to go at things just a step above what a microfiber can't get out. So I'm just gonna use, sorry, hit the camera. <clears throat> just a touch of the spray on a cotton square. And uh, hey, I gotta give a shout out, you guys. Thanks so much, all of you, last week for the private messages and the tags on Instagram and Facebook and stuff with the the results. Looks like a lot of people got in PSA and SGC submissions last week, and got some awesome scores back in. You guys, it means the world to me for the nice tags and support. Yeah, check that out. That, that was even dirty. So there is definitely something on there. But yeah, cheers to you guys. Great news. And uh, I'm happy to see that the products that, uh, that I create and share with you guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing. See how much better already that looks? It's like, there's still a little bit on there. So let me try it again. And as always, guys, if you're <clears throat> if you have any cards in your collection that you're thinking about cleaning up or you know have questions on, you can hit me up anytime. Shoot me a message on Instagram or email me or whatever. I'll be happy to help. Yeah, whatever was cooked on here has been on here a long time but I'm happy to report that it is coming up. 
Nice. So now let's get over to LeBron side of things. Here's what I'm doing over here. I could not get that stuff, whatever, off with a microfiber. So I'm gonna trash this one <laughs> and do a new one, okay? And you guys, I get these from the local pharmacy. Cotton squares. They're awesome for cleaning cards. Well, in combination, I guess, with the, the spray, I find it to be a good mix. And you don't want to get your card wet by any means or soak it. Just get the cotton just a little damp. And I also make the spray, you guys. I'm so particular about stuff like this that, uh, <laughs> go figure out how I make it. But it won't leave spots or anything like that. It dries quickly and cleanly, uh, cleanly. So just always move it around till it dries and you're in good shape. Cool. Yeah, that stuff's awesome. I wouldn't know what else to do. I mean, if a microfiber is not going to work, I don't know what else to do. But that looks great. And that side cleaned up really well. But last thing I'm going to do, you guys, is just put a little... Now that we got all the junk off it, let's just do a quick little coat of polish on it. And that will just bring all the shine back out of it now that all the junk's off of it. Let me readjust here. Bear with me, fellas. So this is my polish, you guys. Kind of same deal. Just another thing I put together here that will help you after the card surface is clean. If it's a reflective finish like the card we have here, it's good at <clears throat> just bringing back that natural shine in the card. I'm just gonna do half the card at a time. I'll even be able to give you a, kind of like a side-by-side -side comparison. And I'm just gonna pull the polish off quickly in one direction with a clean microfiber. And you guys, these products that I use, they're not made to like, it's not like some hack or something that you leave on a card or try to cover something up. They're just made to get right back down to the, to the factory service, surface. Boom, that looks much better. Look at that, and there's no annoying prints on it. And look at, see that print line? See how it goes, you can't see it through there anymore? Let's go to this side right here. We'll do that one and see if we can lift that annoying line. A lot of times I have success. Other times I don't, but fingers crossed, this one's coming along pretty good. And I just apply you guys just like in tight little circles and I don't let it like dry too long. I just want it to get a good grip on whatever dirt or crap or whatever's on the surface of my cards and get it off. Use a good light. You always want to make sure you can see the, the surface well. All right, pick it up safely. That's another thing. That looks awesome. I might work on that bump a little bit again. So right there, just might just barely, but you can see there's a little touch of it there left. I'll take pictures, but that. Hey, and that print line, goodbye. That looks good too. So cool. And you guys, this card was sent in by JT. It was JT on Facebook hit me up, um, asked me if he could uh, send me a card to do a demonstration like this on. And this is what he sent me. And I appreciate it. I'm sorry, it was TJ, not JT. TJ, thanks TJ. And I'm going to put this... I'll put this in a sleeve, man, and we'll get this uh, sent back to y'all. Appreciate you sending it in and for a demonstration purpose. And if anybody watching you guys got a card that 
you know, would, wouldn't mind sending in for a demo if you need help. Always happy to do that for you. So thanks for checking it out, you guys. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, always finish your cards, guys, with the microfiber at the end before you put them in the penny sleeve or anything like that. So awesome, you guys. Wish you a happy, happy holidays. Happy New Year. Talk to you soon.